Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dan from Palmarius Rods. How is everybody today? So I'm trying a new feature on Facebook, which is, it looks like it's something between a Facebook Live and a Facebook Shopping. Every time I tried to go live today, it, it kind of pushed this uh, option on you. So I figured I would give it a try. Manage which items or links you show to viewers. I think we did that. Hey, Chris, good morning. What's happening, buddy? So what I wanted to do today was just a real quick overview of our new rods. It's a series of three rods designed to be a hybrid jigging rod, meaning that it is uh, designed for slow pitch jigging as well as the technique called long fall jigging. And long fall jigging is pretty much what it sounds. It's a lighter rhythm where you are really lifting the, the rod up towards the sky and dropping it and letting the jigs, protrusions and wings and different flutes and keels uh, do the work. And more often than not, it can be extremely effective. Um, it has its days, you know, some days the standard slow pitch jigging with a steady rhythm is what the fish want. And some days they prefer uh, a different type of a drop or a slide, as some people call it. So the idea with this series of rods was to make it long enough to accommodate either technique. The other goal with the series of rods was to make it a little bit longer since a lot of us fish on boats with big outboards. And these days it's not uncommon to have three outboards, sometimes four outboards if you're so blessed. And you need a little bit of a bigger rod to work a bigger fish around the outboards. Alternatively, a lot of guys are fishing on big offshore uh, steel boats like the Yankee Caps down in the Key West area, as well as the Helen H up in the Massachusetts area. And on these boats, you're very high off the water. You could be anywhere from 10 feet at the stern to maybe 14 or 15 feet off the water um, in the bow. So having a longer rod will let you follow your line and follow your jig down on the drop and also keep away from others when they have a fish or you have a fish. It's a little bit easier to manipulate your line when you have a longer rod. So that was the motivation for the longer rod. Uh, when we get to rods that are over seven feet, it becomes uh, travel prohibitive for guys going overseas as well as uh, shipping gets expensive. So this is actually a two-piece series of rods. It's a handle section, which is rigid, doesn't move. The handle section is uh, about two feet long and the tip section is five foot two inches. So it gives you a pack length of just a little bit over five foot, maybe five foot three, five foot four in the bag, but it will give you the action and sensation and feeling and longevity and power of a one piece rod. And I'll show you how that connection works. So this is the new rod. I don't know if you'll be able to see it well on camera, but it has what we call a neutral spine, meaning the very first guide, the stripper guide, is dead on with the center of your reel. The next guide goes to the right. Then the next three guides go to the left, transitioning your line to the bottom of the rod, giving you that acid wrap. They call it a neutral acid wrap because it works well for left-handed anglers or right-handed anglers. Lefties will find they're not fighting against the line. This is the rigid handle section. And there are a couple of unique things about it. Number one, our ships with a removable protector. The protector serves two purposes. One, it's a fulcrum underneath your arm for jigging. It gives you a little bit of extra oomph. It's totally removable. You can pop it right off. It also will serve to protect your rod when it's in the rod holder of the boat. You can move it up and down, position where it's going to hit, and it'll save your rod from getting scratched up on the ride in and out. 
The other thing that's unique about the rods, and I don't know how well you'll see it on camera, is there's a scallop here. And the, the idea here is that the, your elbow should lock in right here. It's really hard for me to kind of show it and talk and hold the rod. But the idea is your elbow will lock underneath here. Let me see if I can, if I can show you guys. And it's a really comfortable, powerful way to fish. It gives you a really rock solid grip on the rod. I think you guys will really enjoy that, that, that style of fishing. The real seed is a Fuji. And basically what happens here is you have almost four inches of connection. That goes together. And again, the handle section is rigid. It does not bend. So this gives you, in, in all um, practical purposes, a one-piece rod. We, we don't even like to call it a two-piece rod. We like to call it a handle plus tip. All the action is in the tip. The handle is rigid. The rod overall length is 7 foot 2, which is 2.18 meters for those of you overseas. And although it may look to be a familiar purple, I actually purposely used a different color than our competition. And it is actually a chameleon blue. And when you get it outside in UV light, you'll see that it is a, a darker blue. I actually designed the rod specifically to match up with my favorite reels. So this is a Shimano OSHA Conquest 2020. It's the same color as the Shimano F Customs. And as you can see, it's a really nice match. I'll zoom in a little bit. Let you guys check that out. It's a really complimentary color to the Shimano. And that was pretty much... Uh, my motivation it is a chameleon paint so as you move the rod in the sunlight it'll actually change from almost a blue black to a blue it's uh, really cool outside in UV light so in terms of the nitty-gritty of the rod why would you want to buy this rod versus a name that has been around uh, for a few more years well number one uh, for those of you uh, that don't know my background I was the importer and distributor for Temple Reef for the better part of six years. And during that time span, I learned an awful lot about slow pitch jigging. And I had a great experience selling literally thousands and thousands of slow pitch rods. What I learned and the feedback that I got from customers was a lot of frustration with what they call micro guides. The competitor necks their guides down to a size 4.5. And unless your knot is absolutely positively perfect and you're using a relatively uh, modest diameter leader, it just didn't pass smoothly through the guides. So over the years, I got a lot of uh, complaints and c customers had issues. And that was kind of on my to-do list when I set out to build my own line of rods. The other thing that I took into consideration when I built this line of rods was the way we all fish. In America, a lot of us started fishing when we were young, and a lot of us watched uh, Bill Dance and Jimmy Houston, and you know we watched all these famous anglers as kids, and you know they wanted to swing the rod so hard that you would feel the breeze. And I think that some of that is just ingrained and I don't know that you're ever going to entirely break us of that inherent want to set the hook. So when I develop this line of rods, I have a shut off in the rod where it's not going to bend and bend and bend. It'll allow you to put that hook through the fish's gill plate and to get a nice solid hook set as well as my customers that do a lot of oil rig fishing and heavy cover fishing, it's going to allow you to horse a big fish out of that cover and be successful in capturing that fish. So there are a couple of unique things about my rods. Number one, we don't go any smaller than a seven. 
on our guides. Our first three guides are two-footed guides, which are both under-wrapped and over-wrapped. We're the only manufacturer in the game right now, I'm sure others will follow, that are doing an under-wrap and an over-wrap on our slow pitch rods. And the reason for that is just we wanted to have the most robust heavy duty rod without having it be a standard jigging rod. It is absolutely a true slow pitch rod and a couple of grams here or there for a little bit of thread or epoxy is not something that's really noticeable. So the rods are seven foot two. There's three models of them. The lightest, the 72-1 is a 100 gram to 300 gram rod. The next rod up in the lineup is a 72 dash two, and that's a 150 to 450 gram rod. The heaviest in the lineup is a 72 dash three. It's a 200 gram to 550 gram rod. And again, these are handle plus tip. So the pack length is a little bit over five foot. It's like five foot four, very easy to travel with. The rod ship in a really nice bag, which has a tip protector built into the bag to protect the tip section of the bag. And it is a color changing paint. You'll find that it is very close to the Shimano F Custom line of reels. It really complements it well. I think it makes a beautiful pairing. Hopefully everybody will agree. Let me try to zoom out a little bit. So that's about it. Chris, thank you very much for tuning in. I don't know if I had any other fans today. I didn't share this to all the normal groups that I normally do, which gets a lot of uh, views. But hopefully the, if the video turned out good, I'll save it and I'll repost it to some more groups. So again, thanks for tuning in. This is our new Leviathan rod. It's a 7-2 rod. It comes in three models. You can check it out online at www palmarius.com. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks guys. I really appreciate you tuning in.